All right, everyone, welcome to Central Coast Disc Golf. This is the Innova Open at the 28th Annual Texas State Disc Golf Championship. I am Nate Perkins, and I am joined here with my friend and fellow native Texan, Holland Handley. Holland, there you are right there. There I am right there. Yeah, this will be a, a strange thing today, getting to comment on my own round. Well, you've got a pretty good card. You you just shared with me that it, it was one of your favorite cards you think you might have ever played on. Yeah, just everyone had a really great attitude, really great energy, and I'm excited for you guys to watch. So here we have hole one. It is a 651 foot par four. You're really just trying to hit something in the center fairway and bite off some of this distance. And then we've got a couple guardian trees up here on the left side, just past that trash can. You do have an OB cart path all along the left side. However, it's pretty grabby grass. So as long as you land in the fairway, you're most likely going to be just fine. We've got another kind of wet day here in Houston. Humidity back up to Ladies a staggering 95%. Welcome to the Innova Open at the 28th Texas State Championship. <laughs> this is your FPO lead card. Leading us off. Cy Ananda. Yes, I Yes, yeah, Sai Ananda. This is the first time I got to play with Sai. Oh, cool. Um, really sweet person. Um, it'll be it'll be interesting to see how she handles being in this position, leading going into the final round. This looks like a nice, strong, confident shot right in the middle of the fairway, biting off lots of distance. Next on the box, Owen Scoggins. <laughs> We've got Owen Scoggins. Really great at these park golf style courses. Really good forehand, really good backhand. That looks a little low, but she got pretty good distance. Going out third, Kristen Tatar. Yeah, that's a great shot from Kristen. Exactly what you want. Lots of distance. Not messing with that right side tree. Not messing with that OB. How are those tee pads when they get wet? Surprisingly good, actually. Um, we had to be mindful of them, checking them. Um, but no slips. And that one just comes out too low. I liked the angle, but too low out of the hand. Another just kind of wet day. It was it was foggy and just so still. It was actually a really beautiful morning here at Brock Park. Yeah, definitely. It was. I would say it was a light mist. Yeah. It never quite rained, no. but you wanted your umbrella out. Yeah. This disc looks so cool when it's flying. What is yeah, that? Yeah, that's uh, my Z UVZ Vulture. So it's not a very sunny day, so it's not changing colors, but it actually changes colors in the sunlight. Oh, it's such cool plastic. Yeah, I uh, was a little too far back there, so just trying to get something to the gap. Size a little further up. She's going to that backhand. That's a fine spot. Not really going to get a birdie look from there. It's a little too short but she should be able to get up and down for her par. Uh-oh. <laughs> no <laughs> oh, way. No. <laughs> that was some course love right there for Kristen. I think if you want to- flash in the ring. A little bit. I think if you want to birdie the hole, that's the line to take, but uh -huh. that was just low and overturned out of the hand, but the course gave her one back. And that's a great third shot from Owen. Just playing for par after not getting enough distance off the tee. And then 
And so I might give this one a little bit of a bid. You kind of have that short hill right behind the basket. So if you want to run it from that position, uh, you definitely can. I'm just so curious to see how she's going to handle the pressure. You know, she she played, she played, it almost seemed like out of body uh, last two rounds with the hearse from circle two. You yeah, know? absolutely. I mean, she was banging putts from the edge of circle and beyond. So yeah. um, I'm hoping she, you know, keeps that confidence because that's really what did it for her was the putting. And what's the, what's kind of like the difference between, you know, round two, you're chatting with your buddies, playing with them and, and, and round three, or is there a difference in the, in the, I think in it, the banter? It really depends on who's on the card. Um, mm -hmm. And so one of the things that was so fun about this card is we were kind of chatting, okay. you know, within the first few holes, um, had a little bit of, I won't say banter, but you know, some light chit chat happening and it felt not as tense as sometimes a, a lead card final round can feel. That's cool. What are you putting with, Holland? Uh, that is a hard challenger SS. Really trying to attack the baskets today. I've had pretty slow starts to all of my rounds in terms of putting. But here we are with hole two, par three, 264 feet. The main line is where this drone is flying. You'll take a mid-range or maybe a fairway driver. You have to deal with this low ceiling, but if you can get past this Spanish moss right here, you have a good chance of hitting a circle. Um, you'll see the occasional low hyzer, or even there's a high hyzer line, there's a sidearm gap. Several options on this hole. This is a felon from Sai. I just, I can't get over how little of the tee pad she actually uses. Yeah, she has a very nice compact run up, which on a day like today where it's wet, muddy, mm -hmm. there's the potential for slipping. Um, and she actually removes a lot of that potential because she has such a short run up. And then on the ground, just too damp today for that skip play to really work. And she's caught up about edge of circle two. I like this play from Kristen. Just barely challenges that low ceiling, but checks up in time. She'll have a nice putt from circle one. Uh oh. Yeah, that one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Is that a buzz? <laughs> that was a buzz. That okay. was my glow buzz. Um, that thing just glides. It just went for days. I mean, normally I tickle a branch there, so I was trying to make sure I had enough pace on it. So if I did tickle a branch, I still get through. Oh, that height was so good. Looked good from here. Own probably one of the most confident putters on tour and with good reason. Is there anybody that you modeled your putt after? Not really. I have, you know, and when I see someone putting well, I'll kind of maybe you slow it down and look at, you know, what are their mechanics and mm -hmm. maybe experiment with it. You see Kristen cashing that. Um, and then through kind of experimenting with some different, you know, things with my wrist, with my legs, with the way I line up, I've kind of developed my own putting style. And Sai, she bangs the confident tester putt. Yeah, solid. Yeah, I always say it's okay to run those long ones as long as you make your comebackers. I really hope the tour comes back here. I just, I, I really like the, this setting for a pro tour event. Yeah, it's a really nice property. I think with a little work on the design, it can be something really, really cool. Um, as we move on to hole number three, par three, 315 feet. You've got OB lining both sides of the fairway. So if you take an early kick or you fade out, 
Um, you can find that OB rather quickly. There's also OB about circle's edge deep. So you really wanna throw something super straight and control the distance. Better to check up about circle's edge short than to be deep. Yeah, that, that OB is only, it's inside the circle back there. I think it's right around the edge of the circle, okay. yeah. And so Sai throwing something nice and straight. She's fading kind of early. Ooh, she hit that putt yesterday. Like almost the same ex same exact putt, like 38 feet or something. I mean, yeah, that's that's been her sweet spot all weekend. And Kristen, she, Kristen's really known for kind of going down tempo on a driver here. I mean, she she could throw mid or fairway, but she just chooses to go drive and just kind of down tempo it. I, I like that style. From yeah, her. yeah, she's very controlled with those hyzer flips. Let me see. Own going with actually more of a flex line, working it over to the right and letting the stability of the disc bring it back. And she'll be about 35, 40 feet. Oh, this is a great view with the crowd behind I you. Look, you're a star, Holland. So cool to have so many people out supporting. I'm going with that same buzz I just threw in the last hole. I figure Ooh. if I throw it the same, it'll actually go the distance the required distance. for the yeah, hole. Nice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Give us a wobble wobble. Come on. Yeah. Oh. Yes! What? <laughs> Do you love the way how she says yeah on right before it hits the chains? <laughs> Wait, that was her? I, I think so. Well, if it was if it was or wasn't, she does do that. She'll be like, oh yeah, on. Oh, you, you want nothing to do with it, Holland, not even watching? <laughs> I, I Is did, that I, own saying yeah own? It was either own or sigh. It might have been. Okay. But That's I mean, so I've, cool. I've played with Own a lot. She does. She's her biggest <laughs> hype man. No one hypes up Own more than Own. So you see, Sai. Oh, okay. Now. The tone is kind of set. Yeah, these like, ladies the are starting hot. The tone is high. set now. Yeah, so, she uh, is so cool. Yeah, uh, she's already a new star is born. Yeah, really, like, for real. I love that putt. Yeah, and I just left that one a little too left. You got big putted. I did happened. get. I did you got get double big putted. big putted. I did. And you can, yeah, you can see on my face. I'm not happy with how my putting <laughs> stroke has started out on this round. As you see, everyone take a stroke on me right there. That's that's. It just it hurts even more when you're the only par and everyone on your card it doesn't birdies. it, it just doesn't feel like, good it's like okay it doesn't feel good especially i know you know i'm bottom of the card i know if i want to make a move on on the leaders i gotta do it early get another look at that beautiful putt from Sky. Yeah, it's gorgeous let's take a look at our leaderboard after three holes size extended her lead to three strokes over own and then kristen's got a little bit of a two-stroke lead over me This looks perfect. Off the basket. Now it's rolling. It's headed for the OB. This needs to sit. Oh my goodness. It's safe. Right on the line. She's going to have about a 30 foot putt for the win. Okay, here we go. The putt is up. Boom, it's in. Strong side with authority. What an incredible moment. Yes. It has a turn for those guys that don't have a lot of power. It's fast and it's got good glide. All right, hole number four. We got a par four, 588 feet. Again, OB on the left and right sides. And then the fairway kind of bends around this corner on the left. So off the tee, you're just trying to land center fairway about even with that first crepe myrtle tree. I don't know what tree that is. It looks like one. Yeah, crepe myrtle for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Good call. You know, uh, I think... Arborists that, don't come after me, please. Well, you know, the, there's a really just funny like relationship between disc golf commentators and, and, and their... Uh, 
lack or you know <laughs> apparent lack of knowledge apparent of trees. lack of knowledge of trees exactly, yeah. exactly. well you want to land by that tree and then you'll have probably a hyzer or a straight shot into the green there we go just a third of the tea pad all she needs yeah and she pulls this a little bit to the right side checking up against that tree that has a name <laughs> but she should be fine and have some kind of line and we see Kristen going to the sidearm oh no kind of a similar to mistake to what she did on hole one kind of low and overturned and she finds that OB on the left side yeah no 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 chance no trash can to save her on no that trash one. can to save her on just that got one. over over the top of it which is a totally unforced air i mean there's so much room out to the right that you you can still get up and down from anywhere off on that right yeah, side. yeah and, and and uh kristen's got enough distance like she can really just throw a spike hyzer she doesn't really need to try and go for distance here so you're throwing force here yeah this is my esp force and i just saw kristen make that mistake and so i'm i'm making yeah. sure to spike it and i end up a little further right than i want but there's actually plenty of room over there as long as you're not tucked right up against a tree and that's a totally fine spot to be. Oh, this is a beautiful angle here with the foggy. Yeah, and Kristen, really nice recovery shot. She'll have a great opportunity to save her par. I'm going back to that glow buzz. I've got about 315, 320 to the pin. Mm, I love that. That was buzz it as well? Yeah. Man, yeah. what a shot. That was that glow buzz. Mm. Oh, and she's got this tree to contend with, kind of preventing her from just going hyzer into the green she kind of has to punch this one a little straight yeah and you see her just making sure that her hand's not going to smack that tree in her follow through must be pretty out of the way if she's marking it okay oh yeah it looks like she's got her felon gonna go with a little flex here Just the body English. Yeah, you called just it. Intuition right there with the wrist. Like she just, she really is just all right there in the wrist. It's beautiful. Yeah, really well done. It's one of those things. It's you can't you can't t teach stuff like that. You know that that's just experience and with with throwing discs. Mm -hmm. You know. Yep, knowing your knowing your body, knowing your own mechanics, and I'm kind of pulled that one wide. Well, Cy Cy won Am Worlds and. 2015 wow yeah went pro in 2016 she's been playing a while yeah i had no idea i just learned that like today i was kind of surprised to learn you have got another deep c1 look for birdie oh. and yeah definitely feeling the frustration there um i'll say i don't normally miss high no no i don't normally miss high i usually aim high knowing that uh, my body's gonna want to make me miss low Oh, man. Well, Sai's not missing high. <laughs> She's three oh. in a row. No smile on that one either. Seems like it's all business now. Yeah, and I mean, Owen's in for par, so Sai will extend her lead to four strokes. Yeah, when you, you know, you said you don't typically miss high. When you do have that high miss, like all of a sudden you're like, wait, like high's an option? Like I thought it was just left and right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, normally if I miss, I miss low. So kind of after after that one, I'm telling myself, okay, you're putting enough pace on it today. So let's go one or two chain links lower on the aiming point and see if that fixes things. You get another look at that putt from Sai. Such a unique putt. It is. She kind of uses the elbow and opens the hand. Yeah, and you, you and keyed lets all in. the wrists do the work. Yeah, you keyed in on uh, Isaac Robinson uh, yeah, during yesterday's similar. round, and I I think you're you're spot on with that. Yeah, hole number five, a par three, 198 feet. You've got this tiny straight at it gap through these trees, and even if you miss, you can kind of filter through and get a little lucky. There's also a wide hyzer, uh, which is 
a better play if there happens to be a right to left wind, but today it is dead calm. Mm. BT harp. Oh, that was Bink. perfect. Oh, she this is four in a row, Holland. Wow. Yeah, if there was any question if the nerves were going to affect her start today, I think she's put those to rest pretty quickly. If I recall, the rain started coming down a bit harder right about now. Oh. Kristen trying to go the forehand line, but tickles something. She's going to lose another stroke. And that looks like owns rock three. Going for that mm. flex line and... Yeah, she hit a tree, but she kind of filtered through a little bit. She'll still have some kind of look. And I did not practice this straight shot. I kind of made a game day decision. There Missed the gap completely and there got through go. anyway. <laughs> Circle's edge putt. We got to get you on the board. Yeah, I really need to get something going at this point. And Kristen, that's a great pitch up. She gives herself a chance to save par. And own actually having to go to a knee is a little bit tricky lie. Yeah, she just didn't have enough room to give that the height. And so I've got kind of a weird angle with this tree here. Oh, yes. Wow. <laughs> I'm almost like irritated that it took this long to break. <laughs> it like looks me. like it. Oh, man. Definitely was. Sometimes going to like a weird stance can kind of shake you out of a funk you know what i mean uh, extra focus yeah bit. yeah because you kind of have to chill out a little bit in order to make that work mm, i like that we see both kristen and owen making good on their par safe putts and then Sai doesn't have to do anything just a nice little tap in that's what happens when you throw a dime off the tee and that pushes her lead to five strokes. Things are going her way. Look at the dexterity there. <laughs> yeah. You had to use all 5'11 of me to make that putt. 5'11 <laughs> is so strong. That was nice. All right, hole six, par four, 597 feet. Once again, OB left and right side. You're going to see kind of two options here. Some players are going to prefer this right, this left side where the drone is flying. There's also a good gap on the right side. Personally, I think the left side's a little bit easier to get up and down because you have fewer trees with a low ceiling to contend with. So your second shot ideally would go through this center line, although there is an outside gap on uh, both sides. And then you want to get just around this last big tree for a look at a birdie. Inside. Oh, a little fast oh. skip right there. Check up. Oh, and that's wow. right up on the OB. Yes. Kind of a surprising little skip there. Kind of surprising because this grass was has been really sticky the last couple of days. But yeah. maybe it's got just enough moisture on it that it's a little bit more packed in. Oh, and there's that. You're dropping, the, dropping the elbow just a bit, and we're going spiky forehand again. That's not, as, yeah. not the intention there, right? No, I was trying to leave that a little bit lower. In fact, I think I turned around and said to my caddy, why did I leave that so high? <laughs> but, I mean, it's inbounds. Uh, and then, Kristen, this is a little bit more the line you're looking for when you throw a sidearm on this hole. And she's actually trying to skip it off to the right side and take that uh, right side line for her second shot. You see Own also hanging one out to the right side, letting it swing back. Mm. Yeah, Own going that I center that. gap. Oh, yes. Such a good line. She'll be short of yeah. circle. I think she's going to be in circle two, but that's the ideal way to play the hole. Oh, this is low ceiling and 
Oh, you kind of hit that one hard, Holland. And yeah. it just had one more treat. Uh, yeah, I kind of, I missed my line a little wide there. I was trying to flip up my flippy raptor. Not really where I wanted to be off the tee. We see Cy going that same gap that Owen went for and putting it right at her sweet spot, circle's edge. And then Kristen showing us the wide hyzer line. This one's a little scary because if you do hit something, you can kick OB, but she does it perfectly. Wow. Right outside that, bullseye. That does take a lot of trust. Oh, intentional? Very intentional. I'm trying to toss it in. A little bit. I mean, everyone else has had a hot start, so I feel like I kind of got to get going. And I'll be honest, a lot of times with upshots, I do better if I tell myself to throw it in than if I tell myself to park it. Mm -hmm. If I tell myself to park it, I end up 30 short. But if I try to throw it in, I'm usually five short. Dirty. Oh, oh. yeah. That first hiccup yeah. we've seen from Cy. That's... You know, and it was a good looking putt. I mean, it was a little left. Yeah, we'll see how she bounced back from that because, you know, this is about a third of the way through the round. Mm -hmm. Things have just completely gone her way up until that little yeah, she's, incident. And she's got a little wrinkle now, so we'll see how mm -hmm. she handles a it. A wrinkle. A wrinkle. <laughs> Did she just point <laughs> at the she? lone person clapping? <laughs> Who's she pointing at? I don't know. I love that. Kristen, Stone Cold, such a good birdie putt. She's going to get one back. Yeah, she's so she... Five, she's five. Owns five. You're seven back through six. And Missy Gannon with a hot start, four down. She's only one back of, of me right now. Okay. So hole sevens, another par four, 573 feet. We've actually got a little bit more room to work with here. You can kind of open up and throw a more aggressive distance line if you want to. But basically you're just trying to land something about at these two trees a little bit past if, uh, if you're more of a big arm. And then you've got just a couple options here to the basket. There's a, about a backhand line where the drone's flying. There's also a sidearm line just to the left of those trees. Great angle. Yeah, fantastic. Just, that's her angle with that rive. Just mm -hmm. kind of barely getting on top of it with that Anheuser. I mean, she she won a Worlds with that angle. Yeah, she did. And she's actually past the ideal landing zone. So those two trees, if you get past those, it's very straightforward into the green. Sai pulls that one a little bit right, but she filters up far enough that she'll still have a great look. Is this one of them throw Joes? That's one of them throw Joes, and I Whoa. deciding to have oh. fun with this one. He dodged it. <laughs> oh, and yeah. the crowd loves it. Yeah, that Central know. Coast little kick flip over the disc right there. Yeah, there's a there's a professional cameraman right there. He gets the shot and he gets out of the way. Love it. That was cool. That really lit the crowd up. Yeah, it did. I mean, the, this is, I, I so rarely let myself throw that kind of shot because it is very aggressive, but on this hole, I feel like I got plenty of room to do mm. it. And Owen just needs to beat that last tree, and yeah, that's perfect. Destroyer skipped, parked. That's just Owen in it's a like, nutshell. I mean, yeah, that's just a regular day for Owen. Just destroyer into the green every time. The inside, that was a little hot, but again, she's been mostly banging putts from that distance. Kristen, mm. I want to say this is her justice. Justice. 
Oh, look at that reaction. That was rude. That was really mean. It was done flying. Yeah. Got a weird little kick up off of those roots. So this is zone. You going to toss this one in? I'm, or attempt to? I'm telling myself I'm trying to toss it in. Okay. And then case in point, I skip a little bit short and I'm 20 feet. All right. I like the mentality right there. Well, that one just didn't even have the life. Yeah. What, she, what, what's your analysis of that right there? I, when you miss a foot left. Maybe just not enough legs. I'm not really sure. I don't know what her inner monologue is with putts. Okay. I know for me, when I miss left, it's usually not enough power with the legs. Okay. It's mm. good birdie right there. Yeah. Finally, finally making these putts, trying to make something happen here. I didn't realize it before, but my hat matches my putters. <laughs> Looking like a pro out there. And there go. I'm like holding my breath right here because this is like. Uh, oh, wow. That one looked online, but maybe just not enough power. And she takes a bogey. And her face kind of says it all. Maybe a little frustration there. So wrinkle on the sixth and now that wrinkle has multiplied yeah and Kristen takes a par and now she and owner four back well actually owns parked for the birdie wow so that's a two stroke swing wow yeah, yeah, yeah things were going her size way completely and now a little par, a little bogey, and we've got a... we got a ball game. We've got adversity. <laughs> yeah, we'll see how she can bounce back on the next hole. And this shot was just beautiful. Is that so cool, watching yourself in slow-mo? That's uh, got to be honestly, so cool, Holly. I worked so much on my form this off-season. I'm more like, am I doing the thing I yeah, was yeah, trying yeah. to not do anymore? <laughs> Is it hard <laughs> to... Because I, I know that sometimes I love teaching people, but you can overanalyze. Oh, totally. Is it hard to separate the analytical state of mind from the intuitive state of mind? I mean, I just made a rule for myself. I kind of set a deadline in the off season. It was like, if whatever changes I make, I have to make them before this day. And if, mm. and then after that day, I'm not thinking about form anymore. Really? That, that's, that's really strict. cool. I admire that. Here we have hole eight, par four, 561 feet. You see the fairway kind of has a, a left turn. There is a mandatory left that we're all trying to miss. Um, that Mando is probably about 315, 320 off the tee. And I'm going back to this ESP force. Mm, just that late lag in the in the arm, and oh, that it was headed places. That's still a good spot right there. Yeah, I'm I'm not mad at that at all. Honestly, I'm trying to get to those trees. Anything else is a bonus. That is a confident tee shot. Probably the most daunting tee shot on the course from my perspective. It, it is because especially if you want to throw like a hyzer flip or a pushing hyzer, the Mando is just perfectly placed that most women are going to get the distance, but they're going to fade just before it. You see Kristen and Owen both a little bit low out of the hand, but they're safe in the fairway. And I love the height that Sai gave this. She got it turning out of the hand to make sure she gets the distance and skips it perfectly through the gap. Yeah, that's that biofusion enforcer that she's been ripping on, and that probably as good as you can really throw it. Yeah, right I mean, there. that was picture perfect. Um, really good bounce back after the last two holes where she kind of, you know, leaked, leaked some strokes. Oh, and there's our guy. He's been with us all weekend. <laughs> yeah, the volunteers this week were something else. I mean, they were hustling to help us find discs to spot. They did a really great job this weekend. And Kristen, this looks wide. Yeah, not, not what she was looking for. Um, she's going to be short of a birdie putt. Going zone into the green here. 
Yep. Well played, hole. And again, tell myself to throw it in, and I'm still short. <laughs> but that's a fine spot. I'll have a nice putt. Big and moment right here. Really. Was that a chirp out of Sai? I'm I think not that sure. Was her. I don't know. Yeah, she kind of yanked that one. I wonder if maybe it was a little bit of a slip or just a yank trying to avoid that OB. Sometimes mm. you see the OB line on the left side, and so you end up pulling it too far right in a in an attempt to overcorrect. There's some nerves present. It's yeah. It wasn't visible before, but it's it's certainly visible now. Definitely. See, Kristen giving this a long bit just off the top. And uh, size in a tricky spot. She's actually got some work left to do. This tiny little gap. She's lining up the forehand. Okay, about 20 feet. Owen's always oh got such gosh. a good attitude. She's just so confident on the green. Never worried about it. Similar distance. Yeah, she's about a step outside the bullseye. Uh, I mean, that's a short putt, but that is an important one because she just missed that putt on the previous hole yes yeah very important to kind of remind yourself that you're a good putter it doesn't have to happen like that every time mm -hmm. you can make these and i mean she's still got a lead here um and she's getting a stroke on her closest competitor mm -hmm. even with a par which is always nice always nice <laughs> Here we go, hauling another one for you. That is serving it up right there. Take yeah. notes, I like that a lot. Yeah, we're not missing anymore. Just calm down a little bit, getting back into my routine. Hole nine, par three, 291 feet. Got a couple options on this one as well. The drone's showing us the turnover or forehand line. You can kind of aim something at this kind of bushy tree on the left side. There is also a backhand pushing hyzer line if you want to go through the two trees on the right side. Uh, we do have OB long and on the right, it's kind of angled toward the basket. It's like just wet enough that it's hard to get a grip. Yeah. The shirt works though, huh? The shirt works. I'm going Raptor here. You know, I kind of felt like, I just wanted to see how it was gonna fly without that little kiss right there. I remember seeing that shot going, oh, it could have had a chance. Yeah, I actually, when I saw it hit the, the branch, I thought those bullseye feathers were the circle feathers, so I was a little uh, happy to get up there. I was a little disappointed at first, but yeah. very happy to see where that landed. And that's a great shot from Kristen, also going that sidearm line. And Sai actually going grace turnover here. A lot of disc for this distance, but she parked it yesterday, and this one was smashed. Not quite the turn she was looking for, and that's 50 footer. Yeah, she's kind of looking for that to not fade out. She wants mm -hmm. it to kind of dig in near the basket, but she's safe. And, oh, and this is her beefy destroyer. She's going for a flex sidearm. It's great ground play, and she's inside the circle. So yeah, Owen and Kristen really kind of putting the pressure on Sai here with both of them being so close to the basket. But they're still chatting. They're, they're still, still friends. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, it's the thing. You can be battling Owen, and she's so, like, chipper and, and nice about it. It's like it almost makes you forget. That's, I feel like that's unique to disc golf. Yeah, it is. Like normally you would expect other sports you're like so serious and Yeah. Oh, Kristen's just a little little left side again. And cuz like in golf they play in the twosomes mm -hmm. final days and so they're they're not chatting with each other. No. They like have almost no interaction. Like talking to their caddies. A birdie. A birdie from for own. Own. Yeah, own. 
<laughs> She's closing the gap to three strokes. I still am curious if I just want to see her root for herself mid flight. Like, oh, just just wait. <laughs> She'll probably do it again. <laughs> I like that left hip or uh, putter. Excuse me, your offhand on your left hip with the putter, kind of forcing that left shoulder to stay back. Yeah, I kind of discovered when I used to start with kind of the off putter up by my actual putter that I'm putting, mm -hmm. and I realized when I come down, I kind of change shoulder positions. Mm -hmm. And so I thought it was a little easier if I just started in the shoulder position that I clearly want to be in. Yeah, you keep that left shoulder back. I mean, that's what Macbeth's been doing that for mm -hmm. over a decade. and You could say he's a pretty good putter. Pretty good putter. Yeah. Cue the music. A little wobble putt right here from Owen Scoggins. What a treat to be in the booth with you, Holland, for Central Coast. They are working around the clock. I mean, they're doing FPO lead and MPO lead. I mean, they're so. editing as we speak in the other yeah, room. Yeah, this house is, they're doing nothing but filming disc off, editing disc off, and that's it no sleep <laughs> yeah <So>. definitely no <laughs> sleep but um taking a look at the leaderboard here Sai maintaining three over you and own we've got a battle guys don't go anywhere here 